find the area bounded between these two curves. Now, as you can see that the second curve is a parabola, so we can easily plot the graph of this one. However, the first curve is not any standard curve. So, therefore, plotting the graph of this one will take some time. However, one simple transformation can significantly reduce the time for solving this problem. If we interchange x and y, right, then the first equation will become y equals to 1 by 1 plus x square. And the second equation will be x square equals to 2y, right? And the idea is that if we take image of any two curve in a line, then the area bounded between those two curves will not change. And interchanging x and y will mean that we are taking image of both of these curves in y equals to x line. So now you can see that this first graph, y equals to 1 by 1 plus x square, Generally in class, we learn how to plot graph of this one. You can clearly see that when x is 0, y will be 1. So we have this point. Denominator is always positive. So therefore, y is also always positive. And as you increase the value of x, the value of y will keep on decreasing because the denominator will increase. And when x becomes infinity, y will be very close to 0. Also, we have x square, so therefore graph will be symmetric about y axis. So, this red graph is graph of y equals to 1 by 1 plus x square. And the black one is graph of this parabola x square equals to 2y. So, these are the two graphs. Now, if you find the point of intersection of these two curves, so for this point, the x coordinate will be minus 1. By solving these two equations, we can get the point of intersection. And for the second point, the x coordinate will be my plus 1. So now we need the area bounded between these two curves, the red one and the black one, between x equals to minus 1 to plus 1. Now, because both of these graphs are symmetric about y axis, instead of finding the area from minus 1 to 1, we can calculate the area from 0 to 1, right? So basically, this required area, this will be twice of area from 0 to 1. So, twice of integration 0 to 1, the upper curve is red 1, the equation is y equals to 1 by 1 plus x square and the lower curve is this parabola whose equation is y equals to x square by 2. So, this is basically the required area and if you do the calculation, you will find that this number is pi by 2 minus 1 by 3 and therefore correct answer will be second option.